Begin by removing the air filter housing assembly. Remove the 10 millimeter fastener, green arrow, then disconnect the airflow meter electrical connector, yellow arrow. Now loosen the airflow meter clamp, red arrow, and lift the air filter housing out of the engine compartment. Working at the left front of the cylinder head cover, disconnect the crankcase vent hose by squeezing the release tabs and pulling it away from the cylinder head cover. Disconnect the Vano solenoid electrical connector, green arrow. Squeeze the metal release clip and pull it straight off the solenoid. Use a 32 millimeter wrench and loosen the Vano solenoid. If the Vano oil line prevents access to the Vano solenoid hex, remove the oil line 19 millimeter banjo bolt. This will improve access to the solenoid. Be prepared to catch dripping oil in a rag. Remove the Vano solenoid from the cylinder head. Remove the intake camshaft sensor 5mm Allen fastener, indicated by the green arrow. The camshaft sensor electrical connector is located below the throttle and behind the alternator. Disconnect the camshaft sensor electrical connector. Remove the camshaft sensor from the cylinder head and be ready to catch any dripping oil in a rag. Feed the sensor wiring harness up and out of the engine compartment. Installation is the reverse of removal. Working at the right front of the cylinder head, disconnect the camshaft sensor electrical connector by pressing the release tabs and pulling it straight off. Green arrow. Use a 5mm Allen bit and remove the camshaft sensor fastener. Green arrow. Pull the camshaft sensor out of the cylinder head and be ready to catch any dripping oil in a rag. Install the new camshaft sensor with a new o-ring and fastener and when installing, lubricate the o-ring with engine oil and push it into the cylinder head until it is flush. Installation of everything else is the reverse of removal. Models with 8-cylinder M62 engines, the camshaft sensor is located at the right front timing cover. You'll have to remove the air filter housing lid to access it. Use a flathead screwdriver and unclip all four of the air filter housing retaining clips indicated by the green arrows. Unscrew the mass airflow sensor electrical connector green arrow by rotating it counterclockwise and pulling it off the sensor. Then disconnect the intake air temperature sensor by pressing the wire release tab and pulling the connector yellow arrow straight off the sensor. Then lift up the air cleaner to access the 10 millimeter fastener for the air duct and remove it. Red arrow. Then remove the breather hose from the intake air duct by pulling it straight off. Green arrow. Then loosen the hose clamp, yellow arrow, and remove the intake air duct with the air filter housing lid from the engine. Next, remove the intake camshaft sensor 5 millimeter Allen fastener. Green arrow. Pull the camshaft sensor out of the cylinder head and catch any dripping oil with the rag. Be sure the o-ring comes out with the sensor. Disconnect the electrical connector. It is located at the front of the wiring junction on the right side cylinder head. Press the wire release tab green arrow and pull it straight out of the junction. With the harness disconnected feed the old wiring harness out and around the dipstick tube. Installation is the reverse of removal. When installing, lubricate the o-ring with engine oil and push it into the cylinder head until it is flush. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.